one thing I was really interested on this project, we already, we already alluded to this idea that we had kind of this aesthetic, this world that we were imagining around the table land idea. And, um, and then I was thinking through the process of how the art and the lore came together. And I wanted to just talk about this, like art before lore, lore before art, um, like aspect of building this where we had sort of this hybrid and, um, we had these like brand vibes and these like retro future hot sands of table land or like something like that in our mind. But like, how did, and, and maybe this, um, a question for like different phases of the project, but how did you first start thinking about the lore of table land when we came? Like, where, where did, where does the, where does the like artistic process start to fill that world? And maybe that's a question for Joyce on the art side and then a little bit for Matt on the actual like, how does a story emerge from the art? Because that almost came as a second piece. Um, yeah, so when we first got like all of the references that you sent over, we just started a round of deep like um, reference gathering. Uh, <laughs> like Amy and I just spent hours and hours just gathering as much images as we can and ranging from like more cartoony to more um, like more detail, more uh, realistic proportions like Mobius and then something in between and having a range of things and just trying to see like where everybody's heads at. And at the same time, like Matt, Chris and Colin, they're um, working really hard on the lore. So <laughs> we were kind of like compartmentalizing a little bit. How, um, yeah, how does that weave in like with the story building idea and then how does that flow go back and forth i guess what is that collaboration even like on your side yeah so from a story side as joyce was saying you know the art was like pretty far along and i think that like by the time i was actually un unpacking the lore you know it's like there was pretty well cooked stuff to see which really helped because it was like i was helping write a narrative based on like what the world looked like already um we did like a series of workshops with Sander, Colin and Chris and I, and you know, like asked a lot of like foundational questions, you know, like, which is always like so important for science fiction. If you think about like science fiction films that we like, there's always that opening crawl, right? That like paragraph or two in Blade Runner or Star Wars or whatever science fiction film you love that kind of sets up the world. And I think that was like the interesting thing for me was starting there is going like, okay, where are we? Why are we here? How did we get here? And those were some of the like foundational things that through a series of workshops that we kind of unpacked with Sander. And we tried a whole, we, we tried like all dozens of like weird ones and be like, no, that's, that's not right. It's not aliens. It's not, you know, and, and we kind of slowly narrowed in. And then from there, of course, you know, like fleshed out the story a bit more. But it was definitely, you know, like drawing from a lot of the classics of cyberpunk, you know, like Neil Stevenson's Snow Crash and like Will Gibson Neuromancer, or, although like kind of classic early cyberpunk stuff was definitely like, inspiration yeah i have our time looking at edge riders and not thinking of that like opening chapter of snow crash i think it is yeah, where he's sure. like doing the pizza delivery um for sure. yeah that, definitely that's a great story i say that i think the fun part of it for from a, from a narrative standpoint was like peppering in things like sock puppets on satoshi ridge like just those little blips like you never see satoshi ridge you never meet sock puppets but you're like Oh, wow, this is a dangerous place. There are weird people that can like steal your rig and that just gets the imagination running. So it's like one sentence, but kind of does a lot of lifting, you know? Oh, a hundred percent. And you've opened the door for future collaborations here on more world. We get to fill out with new oh, wow. art, new designs, new stories.